This truck Mercedes Actros is having problem on gear shifting lever. The neutral position of the gear lever is not at the center, it's swaying more on rear. So there is no more place to shift the gear on rear side. All rear gears like 2, 4, 6, 8 are not engaging. But all front gears like reverse gear and gear 1, 3, 5, 7 is no problem it is engaging. To diagnose the problem, first step is to check if there is an oil leak on gear lever. By checking the oil leak on gear lever actuator, pull out the rubber cover. Slightly open the inner rubber cover of the gear lever actuator, check for the oil leak. There is no leak on gear lever actuator. Check the gear shifting pipeline for the possible oil leak. Make sure that there is no oil leak on gear shifting pipeline. If there is no leak, proceed to replace the gear shifting cylinder. Gear shifting cylinder is located on the upper right side of the transmission. Disconnect all fittings and remove the mounting bolt then pull out the cylinder. To install new gear shifter cylinder, pull out the cylinder shaft and make sure that the shaft ball is inserted into holder. Push gear shifter cylinder inside and then insert the two screw bolt up and down. Fix the two pipe fittings and tight.
Connect the bleeding machine charging hose into bleeding nipple screw. Open front screw at least two rotation to let the oil flow on front side of the cylinder and open the bleed valve at least two rotation to let the oil enter inside the cylinder. Do not open more to avoid leak when bleeding procedures start. In front of the engine. Connect the return hose to air breather of the gear lever actuator. Tight the hose fitting adapter just enough to avoid oil leak. At the end of the hose, must be connected into the canister. After connecting return hose, switch on the bleeding machine device. Pull out the pressure adjuster knob and turn. Set the pressure gauge into 3 bar. Adjusting more pressure it may damages the cylinder seals. After adjusting pressure, push the adjuster knob to lock the pressure setting. Place the bleeding machine device visible to your location. If you put the gear lever at the center, the flow of the oil will stop. and the pressure of the oil is going high. To let the oil will flow and to remove the bubbles inside the pipe, push the gear lever going front and hold. Wait till the oil will flow on return hose. Wait 3 to 5 minutes till no more bubbles inside the hose. When no more bubbles passing inside the hose. Then move the gear lever and shift to rear and hold. 3 to 5 minutes. Observe the oil flow if no more bubbles seen in the hose. Now put the gear lever in neutral position. Wait till the oil pressure build up to 3 bar. Remember to hold the oil pressure inside gear lever actuator and into gear shifting cylinder. Now close the bleeding screws and pull out the hose.
After disconnecting the bleeding machine pipeline, now you can switch off the bleeding machine device. Try to shift all the gears. Before starting the engine, make sure that the gear lever is in neutral position. Now all gears are working and back to normal. Hope this video will help. Thank you for watching.